I feel privileged to be able to share what God has done in me this morning. Um, I'm 16, and uh, I was adopted by my mom when I was nine months old, around nine months old, and she's been there for the past 26 years. And um, when I was around two months old, I'm, my biological parents left me on a sidewalk and left. And so I've grown up knowing that story and I just haven't really processed it a lot until the last few years. And it's kind of come up and realizing that I had a lot that I needed to deal with regarding that. And um, just struggling a lot with the idea of why and how could they walk away? And why would they leave me there? Like not having a lot of questions that probably won't be answered. Um, just wondering, did they not love me enough that they felt that they had to leave me or just not knowing the situation behind that and just struggling and realizing that I had a lot of bitterness that I was holding against my biological parents and anger and unforgiveness that I needed to let go. And um, God has just been working and moving and realizing, number one, that even though the enemy has told me that my identity is in what my parents did in the fact that I was thrown away or left there and that's all I'll ever be, and then God confirming in my mind that no, I had a plan even through that and I can make the, the mess beautiful. And also um, letting go and forgiving my biological parents for what they did because God wants to do so much through us but we can't be used to our fullest if we're always holding on to the past because unforgiveness just is handcuffing us to the past. And most of the time, when we're holding bitterness and unforgiveness towards someone, it will hurt us way more than it hurts the person that we are choosing not to forgive. And just, my, I feel like my life has been, there's a verse in Psalms 113, verses 7 and 8, and it says, He lifts the poor from the dust and the needy from the garbage dump, and he sets them among princes, even the princes of his own people. And it's just, God has been so prevalent over and over again in my life to um, protect and to heal and transform. When I was um, a baby, I, when they first tested me when I was just a few months old, I tested, I need to raise this. I tested positive for HIV and AIDS, but that was before I made my own antibodies. And so once I started making my own, I tested negative. And I also had tuberculosis, but then I've been healed from that, I guess. And just so many things in my life um, that God has continued to show himself. And um, one of the ways I've had my healing and part of my forgiveness process is writing this song. And when I first wrote this song, it was, to me, it was kind of like, this is as personal as I can get, but this song can be kind of used as a way for other people to uh, start their forgiveness process. Because we all have someone that we need to forgive in our lives, someone that we've been hurt by. And it's not, forgiveness is not easy by any stretch of the imagination. And it's not an overnight thing. It's a choice and it's a process. But once we allow God to, to be, once we give it to God, let whatever it is, go and begin our process and begin our healing. It's Forgiveness isn't easy, but it's worth it. So I ask that as I sing this song that I've written, um, that you just ask God to show you if there's anything that you need to release to him and let go of. But in my 
I start something like this To my mom and dad who left me there by the street Instead of being there to meet my newborn needs I'll never really know I'll never really know if you wanted me to live But I'll forgive I hope you know this isn't simple And I still struggle with this past And even though Every day is better There are still some things I ask Like what was going through your mind The day you left Did you know you'd probably never See me again There are so many things So I'll fall.